Now we're going to go through the settings that we came to with the T14SG Fataba transmitter for the Stingray. I'm not a real Fataba expert, but it'll, it'll show you what sort of settings I have in this model that we got to got it to work. Make sure with the model type, you, are in, you want to be make sure to be a helicopter model type uh, before you start with a blank model. All our sub trims, leave everything at zero. Reversing. We came up with aileron reversed, elevator normal, throttle reversed, rudder normal, gyro we're not using because we're using internal gyro, so that shouldn't matter, and pitch reversed, and we're not using any other channels either. Uh, and this is just what we came up with after going through the whole setup. You should watch the whole setup video and set these as needed to get the directions correct. That's just what we finally came out with when we did the setup. Fail say if I have everything just off, so it just should go into hold. Endpoint adjust, we have everything at default. The throttle, we had to raise a little bit on the endpoint, I believe, to get the light to come on properly during the setup, but I think that was the only thing we had to change. Pitch, everything default, except we run 130 on both sides to get the proper full travels. Everything else is running default. That's it. Servo speed, I didn't touch. Didn't touch anything else on any of the other things in the linkage menu. I go to the model menu. Condition, I just left all the priorities normal. Dual rates, I ran, I'm running 80% on aileron, 80% on elevator, and 100% on rudder. And you can change these as needed. I think those are just a good place to start. You can turn them up from there. If, if changing those rates up don't give you enough control, you can go back into your limits and raise your limits again. Uh, that's just a good place to start. Uh, mixing, we don't have any mixing. Pitch curve, normal mode. You're from low stick up to half stick, you stay at plus 4%. From half stick to 100%, you go from plus 4 to 100. Straight line. Plus 4 straight across. Throttle hold, same. Stump mode, you go from minus 100 to plus 100. It's just a straight line. Your throttle curve. That's your idle up. Let's come back into normal mode. In normal mode, we found our low point. It's at about, uh, what is that? 46%. Or, excuse me, low point is 22% on low stick. And then we go to your high throttle to get the lights to come on properly was about 73% on the Fataba transmitter. So absolute low was 22 at low stick. Go straight line up to half stick. Then you stay straight across the 73%. Throttle hold, there's no, no separate curve for it, just holds it. Stump mode, just a flat line, it's 73, or in this case 74%. Both cases it gave me the proper light. Throttle hold, I just have it turned all the way down. There's no other swash mixing, there's no other throttle mixing, there's nothing else internal to the radio, that's all the, the real settings. Go to system menu. There we go, system menu. Uh, nothing special in the system menu. Not doing anything with the trainer. Nothing special with the servo bus setup or anything. That's it. Then you follow the normal rest of the setup that we did using the JR radio, setting your, your neutrals, then setting your limits, then confirming that your pitch curves are correct, then confirming your throttle curves are correct. Then on your gain, make sure to stay with your gain internal. I make sure you toggle later on to make sure it's giving the right light to stay with internal gain, then you should be ready to fly.